Hello cat people! How are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone and today we are doing a body paint! What we are doing today? So, I received some contact lenses as a PR from uh, the company Color Vu, and I'm gonna unbox the lenses here with you and then we will do a body paint together! So, the idea of the body paint wasn't originally mine, I saw it from the amazing, the one and only Lex uh, from uh, Made I Look and her channel will be down here as always when I'm mentioning someone and of course if you want to watch her video you can go and watch that uh, but yeah this is my version, this is my interpretation of the whole concept and let's unbox! So I actually got two pairs but this time I'm gonna show you only the first one because the other one is for another video this style is called Spider. This is the box which contains a pair of AKA2 lenses. And let's see here. Okay, so we have the lenses. And what, what is this? Instructions? Hmm, who needs instructions? Not me. And here we have the lenses. Tan tan tan. They are so beautiful. I wish I had them for Halloween. They are so nice they are white with spider webs and now i'm gonna put them on are you ready Whee. and now that the lenses are on let's start the makeup i always start from the body and then i go to the face because i want to keep my glasses on and i think that if i have the glasses on with the extreme makeup they might ruin the makeup so i want to make sure uh, and i'm gonna start with this pencil it's a very old brown pencil like it's only that left and i'm gonna uh, shape the whole you know dress that i'm gonna wear or draw and then i will just do the shades and fill with colors so let's do it now that i actually finished with the lines and i corrected by erasing the lines that i am not intended to use i will use this aqua color this is from julian spiegel the white one i'm gonna activate it with some water but not a lot because i don't want to make it extra watery and then i'm gonna use two brushes this one to do the details close to the lines because i don't want to be messy and the big one here to fill all the gaps so let's do it Next, I'm gonna do the blue sleeves, and for this, I will use from Julian Spiegel the Nachtblau. <laughs> so, again, same procedure. I will have this brush here, and I will just use some water to activate it. So, oop, oop. it's brand new because usually I use this palette right here, but I find that I want a little bit darker color today so this is what we will have so the whole dress is now done and now i'm gonna work with some details like the shading that i have done here it just um, a brown eyeshadow, uh, specifically I used from my palette Going Coconuts, this one right here, which is the shredded, if I'm not mistaken, it's a great shadow for uh, shading, I love it. And now 
I'm gonna create some stitches. I will use this palette from Revolution, the Pride one, and I'm gonna just take some of the black right here and I will start doing stitches. And now with a smaller brush I will go again to my white body paint and I will highlight all the stitches. People imagine how many brushes I will have to wash later. Do you wanna start doing lives again on Instagram when I'm washing brushes and chat with you a little bit? Do you like this as an idea? If yes, write down in the comments. And now let's go to the most difficult part of today's makeup which is the thing that she has on her neck so uh, the idea is to try to sketch the shadow first a little bit again with this color from Colourpop the shredded and then I will add black and white and grayish so basically I will add the 50 shades of grey on it so let's go Okay, and now that's the finished look for um, the dress and I'm about to start the face. Of course, you will not see the boring part, the foundation, the blush and all the, you know, the things that you know how I'm doing them basically. So you will only see how I am applying the eyeshadows and uh, what combination I'm gonna use. And after that, we will go to the fun part, aka we will spill some blood. So, as always, I primed my eyes with uh, this primer potion right here from Urban Decay and right now I will apply this shadow which is shredded. Oh my god, I was saying all this time this shadow wrong because this is not shredded, this is culada. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, this beige eyeshadow. I'm gonna put it on uh, my lid very very carefully because this time I have the lenses and I don't want to put a lot of pressure on it. Okay, so I'm doing that and then here I will apply from this palette Giant Wolves, the collaboration with Annette Uberstad, this matte right here which is called a blaze so I will put apply a blaze right here to make my eye look a little bit weird and maybe a little bit sick so I fixed my eyebrows and I added a little bit of an eye pencil I cannot find it but it's from dust and cream the deep violet something like that at this part uh, originally uh, Lex at her own video is drawing the others a little bit down under but I would like to avoid giving a cartoonish you know dimension to my character and I want to make it a little bit more realistic in order for me to make it more creepy at least that's my idea uh, and now I'm gonna add a little bit of a blaze at the bottom part of my eyes with li this little bla blush, no, brush that you saw here in order to make them more, to look more sick, you know? These eyes are sick. <laughs> so I'm just basically setting the eye pencil with that and I will just diffuse it on both eyes. So I applied foundation and I decided not to do contouring today because let's say that Alice in the Game has 
I don't know, an intense activity. So her face is naturally blushed, at least in my mind, from this activity. And I wanted to emphasize that. And now I'm ready to do the lips. So I don't want to do a very cutie and um, girly lipstick. So I will apply just some uh, lip pencil in the middle and then I will try to make it uh, kind of diffused in order to show that, um, you know, a not well cared lips effect. Now I'm taking this brush, this is from Morphe, and I will just diffuse the whole red color and then I will decide if I want to put a little bit of black in the middle to make that more dry and more, you know, sick. Yes, I decided that I want this black to be there. So I'm looking for my black pencil right now. Here we are, I found it. So this is from W7, Blackest Black. I'm gonna just put a little bit inside there. To make them deeper, here make them look even more worse okay the makeup it's pretty much done I have also applied some fake lashes but nothing too extreme I just want to emphasize my eyes a little bit and now before I go to the fun part which is gonna be you know the fake blood it's time for the word of the day so the game is called Alice Madness Returns and I decided to tell you the word for madness. So in Greek we say trela. Say with me. Trela. 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 As always, I will ask you to write a comment down below to include this word and even a reference of the game do whatever <laughs> be creative so here we are with a different background and that's because i'm gonna splash a little bit of fake blood and i don't wanna paint the wall behind me red yeah <laughs> so uh, i'm gonna show you the mix that i will use today it's a little bit of black body paint i'm gonna put water to activate it I don't want to be very, you know, runny, that's the word. And uh, I will kindly blend it with uh, a brush here in order to make sure that it's fully dissolved before I add the good stuff. Yeah, I think we are in a very good level. I'm gonna add one drop more. Yep. So mainly that's the idea. I want to have this black base because the fake blood that I have, it's kind of red and I don't want to have a red effect. I want to be blackish because I find it more realistic in this way. So I have this SFX blood, it's kind of red and transparent. This is from Revolution and very, very carefully I'm opening it and I'm just pouring a lot, a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot inside the black paint. And can you guess the next step? Blending, people. Blending until we make sure that these two are one color right now. So, yep. Don't forget the corners. It's like a syrup. Uh, I don't know the English word for this syrup that I have in mind, but let's say cherry. <laughs> Okay, okay, so it has the texture that we want, it's basically ready, and I'm gonna show you two techniques. One, the messy one, will be using this brush, which kind of dense and stiff, and put it inside my fake blood, and then approach, and are you ready? Are you ready for the splash? That's very messy and I don't see results, but I see results on my face, which is good. So maybe I will do the same <laughs> with a bigger brush. Let's destroy brushes, people. So this one right here, putting in to the blend. Let's do the same. 
Yep. Okay. Now, now I feel it, but I don't see. Ah, yeah, it's here. It needs more, definitely. The other method that I want to show you is by taking this sponge right here and then put it in the blood and very gently touch the surfaces that you want them to be bloody like here this is giving a completely different result so it depends on what you want to do I prefer the messy for this makeup because if you have played the game, you know why. <laughs> anyway, like this intense activity that Alice is doing, I feel that it needs this splash effect. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed the look. Oh, God, do I look creepy when I'm smiling with this look? Anyway, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the look, that you actually learned something. And if you want to see more body paint videos here on my channel, don't forget to hit the like button. Yes, <laughs> in order uh, to understand that you are actually interested in this kind of unconventional makeup. If you want to see more of my body paints, you can always visit my Instagram page, which is gonna be catladyandigoni down here, as always. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be among the first people that get a notification about my videos and premieres. Again, thank you so, so much for being here with me today. Until next time, bye! Bye-bye!